Hi, this is a, a quick update to the previous video that looked at uh, the percentages and absolute references. You'll remember at the end of that video I mentioned that uh, Casablanca was highlighted as the, uh, the best-selling title and uh, as you can see from the list it is in fact Star Wars at the bottom there with £30 against £23.40 but the conditional formatting hasn't properly updated to highlight Star Wars so all I'm going to do here is just to fix that little problem. Um, first thing I need to do here is just select the range of values in the income column. Go to the format menu, choose conditional formatting again. And you can see the problem here that um, if I look in the first row of the settings there in the the formula box or the range box, I've got equals max, which is fine. And then it, the actual values in the cells are D3 to D8 and my movies go down to D11 so all I need to do here really is just fix that I can do it manually just by clicking and deleting the 8 and retyping 11 or I can just click and drag and just select the range of values in between the brackets or parentheses um, I can just press delete which leaves me with a blank uh, well nothing between the parentheses click on that little reduction button there and that takes me back to the spreadsheet. I can then reselect, I'll just move that dialog so I can see the full list, reselect the range of values. And as I do that, you'll see the dialog updates now to include row 11. Click the reduction box again, and that's now correctly showing the, the range I need. Um, do the same thing again for the minimum conditional format. So again, just select the values between the parentheses. And I can just hit delete, make sure they've gone and then click the reduction button so I can see the sheet again and reselect that set of values one more time and just you can just check it says D3 to D11 again click the reduction button to bring the conditional format dialog back just double check it's all OK looks fine to me click OK and we should see that if I click away it has indeed updated correctly this time so now we can see Star Wars is popping up as the uh, the winning movie in the list, which is which is perfectly okay. Um, again, I can just check it's going to update automatically. If I, um, you can see, two thousand one is now the the low value. If I just uh, let's boost that figure a little bit, put twelve rentals on two thousand one, and there we go. That updates, and now Godfather highlights are the lowest value. You'll notice all the percentage values update automatically as well there. Um, before I just finish this video, there were a couple of things I wanted to show on the previous one, but ran out of time. Um, one of them is formatting those percentage values. Um, I'll just show you very, very quickly here what uh, what you need to do. If I just select that range of values, um, if you want to use the menu option, simply go to Format, choose Cells, choose the Number tab if it's not already highlighted, and you can see percentage is highlighted there, and you have the option of increasing or decreasing the number of decimal places. So in this example, maybe I want to increase it to two decimal places, click OK, and all that does really is just give your percentage values a, a bit more accuracy. You can now see uh, the percentage calculation to do decimal places. You can also modify that on the toolbars. So again, if I just select the range of percentages, you'll see here you have the increase and decrease percentage values buttons. Um, so if I just d click on the decrease decimal once, and again, we go back to integer or whole number values on that list of percentages. Um, Fred's not too bothered about it being accurate, so it's quite happy as it is, I think. So uh, we'll leave that there. Um, that's that for the updates. I will be back in a few days with uh, some more examples of how to use percentages. Um, so I hope to see you on that video. Thank you for watching this one, and uh, see you next time.